Come here. You want to say hi? Nika, come. Okay. Sit, sit. Somebody wanted to say hi to everybody. Say hi. Look at how big Nika is getting or has gotten. I don't know the last time I showed her, but she's huge. She is definitely <laughs> bigger than um, I first thought she was going to be. But um, she's so spoiled that she just goes everywhere with me. And I had to go get her another pink collar because I was just tired of her being called a him every time I take her out. She has a pink collar and she has a bright pink harness and a bright pink leash. So hopefully that avoids the, uh, you know, calling her a boy thing. <laughs> but um, she's a sweetheart, but she's huge. So she's big and active and lots of fun. So for all of you who ask about her, thank you. I appreciate that. You can also follow her on Instagram because yes, I'm that person who made my dog an Instagram. She's NikaPup16 on Instagram. I know some of you are already following her, but um, yeah, it's fun. Back to it. Happy Sunday from my puff of smoke. <laughs> I'm Delicia and thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five. Today I'm hanging out and I'm drinking coffee and I just lit up this um, Sweet Jane from Drew Estate. This is the Deadwood tobacco part of the, there's three yummy bitches is what they call them. There's the Sweet Jane, Fat Bottom Betty, and then there's a third, which is, um, oh my goodness, what is the third? I'm drawing a blank. Anyways, I'm doing the Sweet Jane because every so often it's cool to have a, sweeter cigars somewhat in fact they don't consider this one to be an infused cigar they call it uh, a mix of i forget the verbatim that's used it's like a mix of aromatic and exotic tobaccos is how it's described it is using a maduro wrapper so actually aside from the super sweet tip that you get off this cigar it's not it doesn't smoke the same as a quote unquote infused like an acid or you know something like that so it's just a, it's a different type of cigar but as i mentioned every so often it's fun to change it up um, i also again every so often will smoke an upsetter from the foundation lineup those are good um, again those are like a jamaican herbal they don't use the word infused again i don't know what the deal is with using the infused verbatim but it's like a Jamaican tobacco that has like this herbal process of fermenting that creates this different type of aroma and flavor profile. But anyways, that's kind of like a similar thing, which is top secret. I have been to the Drew Estate factory a couple of times and they do not show where these are made or how they're made, um, you know, or the acids or anything like that. So anyways, back to the Sweet Jane. This one, um, I've mentioned it before. I did a review a million years ago on this cigar. And the reason why I love it um, is because of the band. I mean, aside from the whole Deadwood tobacco, it's part of the Sturgis thing that they do. I don't, I've never been, I've heard it's really awesome. But the Sweet Jane has the kind of the Day of the Dead looking girls on the different bands that they have, but um, they're super amazing. Yeah, I just love them. So anyways, thought I'd change it up on a Sunday. Here I am rambling on again. Let me continue on my list. So starting or continuing on to number four this week, we have the Punch Diablo. So this one was a collaboration again with the ever so popular AJ Fernandez. However, it was done a while back. So it's been around for a little bit. It is a fuller bodied, it is a stronger, um, you know, kind of play on words with the Punch Diablo. Um, again, it is. it does hit you with a punch of pepper, like right away, um, that strong pepper punch to it but it does have a very nice dark Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, a Connecticut binder, Nicaraguan and Honduran Habano Ligero filler. So again, has that punch with that Ligero in there. Um, you, you get the dry cedar, the dark, a little bit of dark chocolate, kind of more on the bitter side of dark chocolate, not a sweeter uh, chocolate, but just that bitter tinge of dark chocolate and um, kind of like, I guess, a very charred espresso bean. <laughs> so it has that, those types of flavor notes in there but again it's something different if you um if you're a fan of the punch line um, it's a lot of fun to follow of course i have the punch bobblehead that i put out every so often mm. 
Moving on to number three this week, we have the Bold. This is by Nish. So it was a follow-up to the first cigar that Nish did, which was called the Zen. Um, it has a nice Connecticut broadleaf wrapper to it. Um, it does have a double binder. So it has a San Andres and a Connecticut binder, and then it's on top of Nicaraguan filler. It has nice dark chocolate, uh, black pepper, and espresso. Kind of straightforward. In fact, I actually like to pair that with tequila, if you're a tequila person. Mm. If you're a tequila person and you've ever met Nish, you guys probably got along well because Nish is famous for his actual drink called the Nish, which is a real thing. And it's, a te it's the Don Julio Blanco tequila with um, an orange slice. And then there's something else. It's like muddled. I think there's like a muddled orange in it. I don't know. Over ice. It's really good. Anyways, if you don't have that, you can still drink it with tequila. In fact, there's a tequila that I discovered recently at an event with Nish, in fact, um, go figure, just by coincidence, it's Califino tequila. And I have the, I have a bottle of the extra Añejo tequila that they make and it's fabulous. And I've actually paired that with the bold and it's just a wonderful, nice little treat. So if you have, if you're in the mood for a tequila and I know like the majority of people that I talk to are like, oh, tequila, oh my gosh, no, I had a bad experience. Well, we're not talking about Jose Cuervo shots. We're talking about sipping a nice, you know, extra aged tequila that has been properly aged. And again, you're just sipping on it similar to like a cognac or um, a bourbon, you know, that you would just sip on. You would do it the same way. And it's a fantastic pairing if you've never tried it. So again, rambling, moving on. Number two is coming in with the Nestor Miranda special selection. So Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan Criollo 98 for the binder and then Nicaraguan filler coming from Condega, Jalapa, and Esteli. So you have all the nice components um, from Nicaragua. You're getting the nice rich tobacco, a little bit of white pepper, roasted cashew nut, dark chocolate. Huge fan of Nestor Miranda and his collection of cigars. He makes some really good ones. I was a fan of the Añoranza way back in the day. Um, that one every so often you can still find it in some lounges. It's really nice, but um, this one, there's the newer special selection just came out not too long ago and it's really, really nice. So highly recommended for you to try. Which brings me to number one this week. Um, I believe I have had it on the lineup before, but again, it's just one of those kind of a staple cigars made by La Aurora. It's the 1985, it's a La Aurora Maduro, um, nice, full, rich bodied uh, Brazilian wrapper on that one. Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler. You get the notes of red pepper, dark roast coffee, milk chocolate, little bits of anise, really, really nice cigar. Again, um, good price point on it. One of those that you can easily get a box and just put them in your humidor and smoke your way through them, you know, as you can, but definitely um, a beautiful stick. And again, uh, continuing on from last week, all of these cigars can also be found in my 2020 Cigar Vixen calendar. So I wanted to, again, give a shout out to those people who are, you know, make these cigars that they're sponsoring a month in the calendar, which is awesome. Thank you. And hopefully you guys get a chance to pick up your calendar. You can grab it on cigarvixen.com. And I always thank you guys for the support. Thanks so much for tuning in and for spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. I do hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I hope you stock up your humidor. And again, thanks so much for hanging out. Cheers and God bless.